I am Anil Kumar and here is an application of geometric mean with right triangles. We need to solve this triangle finding the unknown sides x, y and z. So in this triangle we are given that the hypotenuse is BC which is basically equals to 5 plus x, right? So 5 plus x is the hypotenuse of this particular triangle. We are given one of the legs and we need to find the altitude the other side. So let's begin with that right triangle geometric mean leg theorem which says that the side length of the leg is geometric mean of hypotenuse and the adjacent side. So that is to say that 10 is equals to square root of 5 times the hypotenuse which is 5 plus x right so we can square both sides and solve for x so we have 100 equals to 5 times 5 plus x we can divide 100 by 5 so 100 divided by 5 equals to 5 plus x which is 20 right 20 now x is equals to 20 minus 5 is x so x is 15 for us so we get x equals to 15. So let's write it here. Now once we know uh, x equals 15, we can find the altitude. Correct? So now let us find the altitude, which is the geometric mean of these two sides. right? So z is equals to square root of 5 times 15. That's a product, okay? So 5 times 15 will be 5 square 3. So that's the value of z, which is 5 square 3. And for y, we can apply the leg theorem. y will be equals to, just as we started with, square root of, it is the geometric mean of hypotenuse and the adjacent side. So hypotenuse, in our case, is... 20 right 5 plus 15 that is 20 and and the adjacent side is 15 so we'll have 15 times 20 here 20 is 5 times 4 let me break them up it's easier 3 times 5 is 15 and 20 is 4 times 5 correct so that helps actually so we have 5 times 2 square root 3 so that gives us the value equals to 10 square root 3. So these are the values of x, y, and z respectively, right? So we can write down our answer here. Our answer is x is equals to 15, y is equals to 10 square root 3, and z is equals to 5 square root 3. So that is how we can solve it quickly using the theorem. Otherwise, you have to prove that we have three similar triangles here. Triangle ABD is similar to triangle ADC. And these two triangles are also similar to triangle ABC. So with these three similar triangles, you can always find or develop the relation and get the answer. That's an alternate way of doing it. I hope with this, it's absolutely clear to you how to use geometric mean in right triangles and solve them. Thank you and all the best.